Hi there, I'm Mark Palmer on the Gold Coast. I've been diagnosed as a low functioning genius and uh, I've come up with a, an appropriate idea for making a trailer for my longboard to take behind my e-bike. Uh, since parking is such a big problem at the points like Kira and Corumban, I've decided I'm going to ride my e-bike down there and tow my longboard behind me. So I've bought these. So I've purchased this one inch by one inch aluminium. I've got several lengths of that. I've also purchased from a local op shop two kids bikes. One for twenty dollars, the other one for fifteen dollars. And I'm going to use the front wheels as the rear wheels for the buggy. The buggy will only have two wheels and that'll be at the back. I haven't worked out how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to hitch the frame somewhere under my seat post. And I've also procured a tube bender, which I'm not entirely happy with, but uh, it works about 50% of the time. And we did some experiments yesterday bending the aluminium tube and uh, we had mixed success with that but we're going to give it another go today. I haven't really worked out my design yet, I haven't worked out how I'm going to connect the wheels to the frame but we'll see how we go. So this, this little bike here was actually quite a good quality bike um, to get for $20 from the op shop. Unfortunately the other one wasn't anywhere near as good but it, it has this nice good quality gooseneck which I'm hoping I might be able to fit around the seat post of my other bike to use to hitch the trailer. Earlier, we undid these rings so that we could pop the handlebars out and drop the wheel out of the bike and we also removed the brakes just as we did for that one. So now, wheels that are going to be at the back of our buggy or the back of our longboard trailer. They're a different diameter. Unfortunately, I will have to work with that. Okay, so I was hoping that I could use this on my, the seat post of my e-bike uh, as a method for hitching the trailer. But it turns out this is only 29 millimeters 
and this is 31. We may be able to pry it apart enough to get it to fit, but we'll have to do a bit of uh, forceful persuasion. Hundred and sixty millimeters wide. that to slide it up and then release that, squeeze that and that'll tighten the pressure. We've attached this base of the tube bender to a long piece of timber clamped at both ends because we have to put an enormous amount of torque on this and it stops it from twisting and rotating. Saw that cuts straight. That's a good hacksaw. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and replicate what we did yesterday with this, except do it better because we managed to get one of the bends.
Okay, so we've got a nice 90 degree bend with a 100 millimeter radius and it's uh, pretty close, close enough to 90 degrees because we can, all, almost perfect. Now I'm just going to do a, a rough calculation to see if we're going to end up with the right length, the right width. So you can cut, this will be boring. <laughs> Okay, so we've made our two bends, both pretty close to 90 degrees. That one's a little bit in, but we can adjust that. There's a slight bit of twist this way, but we can rectify that. And we managed to now make two bent U-shapes to form crossbars on our buggy. So I'm reasonably happy with that. Okay. Pieces. I want to make a wishbone kind of idea. Symmetrical. So we're going to put a bend there. It'll be more like instead of 90 degrees, it'll be more like 140 degrees. And another bend there of the same same degree. And then we're going to put our U shape here and we're going to pop rivet it and another one here and that'll be what our that'll be what we strap our boards to these crossbar U shapes the wheel will be attached here in the back both sides and then this end up here will Hitch to the bicycle. Okay. Where's the mark there? So we're going to mark them both at the same time. The 
this is a prototype. Okay, so this is the basic construction. We've just taped it together at all the joints. Ultimately, I'm, go I'm going to use aluminium top rivets, but it's just to see how, how well it goes together. It's pretty strong, it's pretty light, very light in fact, which is what I wanted, because I'm towing it behind a bicycle after all. Yeah. first afternoon, two wheels at the back, then we've got the basic frame. This is going to be shortened and we'll probably have another piece in the middle that bends around to clear the wheel and attach to the seat post of the bicycle. Reinforce it with another piece of aluminium, another aluminium rod going right up the middle. And between between these two and that'll stiffen it okay. Okay. And, we'll start tomorrow. and we'll we'll start again tomorrow okay here we are for our second day on building this longboard buggy I've been to Bunnings and got some more hardware some bolts and uh, I bought a couple of attachments for hitching, designed to hitch the trailer to the bike. So um, it doesn't completely solve the problem. It has upward and sideward movement, but it doesn't really accommodate twisting all that well. That could be an issue because the bike will have to um, lean 
at various degrees while I'm riding and uh, I have to be able to do that without the trailer tipping. So it doesn't completely solve our problem but we'll have to see how it goes. I might be able to find some other gadget to accommodate some twist. Yeah, but so I'm thinking of thinking of having something in the middle that goes up and over the back wheel because it has to clear the back wheel. The back wheel has to be able to turn underneath the trailer. Okay, so we're looking at doing a bit of a modification to bring the wheels further forward and the surfboard for, further back so that the center of gravity of the surfboard is further back, closer to being over the wheels. So it's easier to lift and maneuver. Now what we're going to have to do is I'm gonna keep running these side rails through here, but right now they're going to rub on the wheels the way they are so i'm going to put a slight bend in here and then bend it back out and same on this side so that they clear the wheels then we're going to make another u-shape piece of bent aluminium tubing to come around here provide strength and support the back of the board and i think when we do that it's going to be a much better product So these poor old tubes of aluminium have been tortured and bent. I don't think they'll accept them back now if I change my mind. Put it on the ground, gently. nice and stiff but it's still very light because it's made from aluminium. Essentially the only part that's not aluminium are the, the steel forks but it's really light which is good because I'll be towing it behind a bicycle not a well. That's okay 
So the only thing left to do is to cut these two rails from here and here. Put two bolts, I bought some bolts today that will fit all the way through there, M6 bolts, 100 millimeters. And then we'll leave this one longer, but we'll put a bend in, two bends, one up that way and one around that way, so I can clear the rear wheel of the e-bike. And that'll be complete. And then all we need are some straps to strap the board on. And we have to, uh, we have to work out hitching, actually hitching it to the bike, which I've got some ideas, I think I know how to do that. Okay, start of another day. Even though this particular day is almost over, we found a U-bolt that was almost the right size, but a little too big. So we found a rubber plumbing fitting that could go around the seat post. Very tight fit, but with a little bit of Vaseline, did wonders, we were able to slide it on. Now, this is a tight fit, which is good to go around here. Somehow we're gonna use this to put a hitching mechanism on the back of the seat post so that we can hitch the trailer. We've got a plate there, some washers to pack it out. Now, apart from a few little finishing touches that we have to do, we've got the trailer hitched up to the bike. This little detail here probably took half as much time as the whole project took, so it's a little bit like 80% uh, of the time gets taken up by 20% uh, of the job. Anyway, we're about to take it on its maiden voyage, so I'm going to open that gate and take off and give it a test ride. So I've got a few long boards, but this is my biggest one. It's a McTavish Fireball, nine foot four, and it's quite wide. It's so wide that I can't really get it under my arm, even out of its cover. But I'm gonna strap it on. Ready to go. Thank you. 